All right, folks. I just had a, I just had a uh, bucket of ice. Sent up. Complimentary. I want to thank my man Norman for bringing it up. Big shout out to Norman on the JLB today. Ice. Yeah. What kind of glass? Yeah. Give me that glass over there, baby. Yes. Yeah, big shout out to my man Norman. And yeah, baby, you're blocking, you're blocking the, that camera right there. Why don't you come over here on this side? Uh, because you put that ice there. Folks, you see what I'm dealing with? The stress that I'm under every day dealing with full peanut. I am under so much stress. I'm going to crack the top. I'm going to crack the top on this crown bottle right here. Courtesy of my man, Roland from Massachusetts. And I want to thank you again, bro. I love it. And I got some I got some friends coming over. I got some friends coming over, but I wanted to crack the top on this bottle. In honor of my man Pablo. Pablo was uh just laid to rest yesterday on the fifteenth. And and you know what? You know when you got a crown royal, it's all about who gets to keep the bag. And this is this is staying with me. No Filipinas getting this bag. I'm gonna put it back here in the box and so nobody tries to steal this shit. But I'm on, baby, baby, baby. Thank you very much. That's that's enough ice right there. But folks, I'm gonna crack the top on this just for me and Pablo, and I'm gonna have a first drink in, in dedication of my my good friend who has departed this life. And if there is some type of afterlife, I hope he's uh, getting drunk as drunk as a monkey, and he's surrounded by, you know, at least four ladies. It's gonna take me a minute to get the plastic off of this shit. And you know what? You know who's good at getting plastic off of things is my Filipino baby. Pop the top on this for me. Come over here. Come over here so that people can see you. Folks, look at this beautiful girl right here. This little sweet we're in, man, we, we had the music bumping. But I gotta turn the music down when I'm trying to shoot this YouTube video. Or YouTube to take all my damn money. So I got the music turned down, but we're listening to some great music. Thank you very much, baby. Grab that uh, Coke over there. Grab me a Coke out of my out of my fridge. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's been a long time since I popped the top on a crown bottle. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna spill the hell out of it because it's full, but just dump a little bit over in there. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it straight up just for a second. But I do like to mix my whiskey with Coke. I don't apologize for that. Whether it's Jack Daniels, damn Jim Bean. I'm a redneck, so I drink my whiskey with Coke. Oh yeah. The folks back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, you know, if you got your hands on that bottle of crown, <laughs> you were you were good to go. So that sip right there, man, just took me back to the 80s, my friends. Here, baby, just take a, just take a whiff of that. No, I don't want you to drink it, just smell it. That's Crown Royal. And she's, she smelled Jack Daniels before. And she's not a drinker. She don't, she don't drink at all. And I, I, I like her for that, I love her for that. Mm. Yeah, that went down smooth. That first drink right there goes out to my good buddy Pablo, man. You were here about a month ago, brother. And God damn, I wish I'd have been able to spend more time with you. Folks, time is not something we can get more of. Life is short. And I'm telling you that from the heart. I'm not fucking quoting goddamn 
you know, fucking poetry or philosophy. Like most of these goddamn kids in their fucking twenties, you know, out there trying to trying to be philosophers and they've never lived anything. They haven't lived life yet and they're trying to tell you their fucking philosophy about you know, how to fucking motivate yourself and you know, when we, if you're in your twenties, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck and live your life and fucking learn from the elder generation who have actually some fucking life ex experience. Shut the fuck up trying to tell others about how to live their fucking lives. About philosophy. You don't know shit. You don't know shit till you're at least in your mid-40s. And that's where I'm at. I'm a fucking beginner in this game of philosophy. Because I'm just now getting to the point where I've lived long enough to fucking give advice. And all you shitheads in your fucking 20s trying to, trying to tell people how to, you know. Alright, so here we go. I'll mix it up with some Coke for some absolute deliciousness. And my old lady, folks, and she, she is wanting to go to Jollibee. Oh, yeah, right there. And I can't stand Jollibee. Jollibee is the nastiest, cheapest fucking chicken, spaghetti, french fries. It's the cheapest of the cheapest. I think it's like when, uh, when McDonald's, their food fucking gets old. <laughs> I think they sell it to fucking Jollibee. That's how horrible it is. But she wants to go to them Jollibee, right? Baby, why do you, why do you love Jollibee so much? Just tell the viewers. Chicken and spaghetti. Baby, we know you like the chicken and spaghetti. You did not tell us the why. Why do it's you love it? Delicious. What's more delicious? McDonald's or Jollibee? Jollibee. What about KFC? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I gotta let her go to Jollibee. But I got some friends coming over. And folks, coming to you from the ABC Hotel here in Angeles City. Just uh, walking distance to Walking Street. Just living life, my friends. We're staying in the Fiesta, the Fiesta Sweet Party. We got this this uh, dancing pole here. My old lady's already tried it out. <laughs> yeah, she's working on some good dance moves for you. I gotta put her on that pole in a bikini. <laughs> Never. But folks, I got a lot to talk about. I want to thank you for joining me on my videos and joining me here on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, the bottom right hand corner of your screen, like right up, right now, let me get to the point, right over there, there's an overstay road sign, I want you to fucking smash that. Become a subscriber. Food, beer, visas, a lot of drinking, bad behavior, travel, everything in between, whatever the fuck I want to talk about, it's going to come across. And I want to thank you for joining me. Subscribe right here, man. Like. What? <laughs> the subscribe right here, not there. I have no idea what she said, but that's on a daily basis because she speaks most of the time like 60% Bisaya and like 20% English. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have no idea what she just said. But we have a good time, you know. We have a real good time. We communicate well. Um, but we're working on her making complete English sentences. <laughs> Maybe you're doing much better. She's doing much better. I'm proud of her. But folks, if you if you end up dating a Filipina, especially especially a Filipina in her 20s from the village, they don't speak English. You may think they speak English, but they don't. I, my wife may be... 40% English. <laughs> Wait, 50 out of language. What? 50, I'm not 40. All I heard was 50. So, uh, <laughs> I think she just proved my argument. I love her, and I'm in her country. <laughs> and so I'm not bitching about it. But I'm just telling you reality. They no. speak Bisaya. Or they speak Warai. Or they no. speak Tagalog. And their English no. skills... No. 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 She's talking away here in the background, but if anybody can translate what she just said, then you can you can challenge my argument. <laughs> I'm just saying you have to exercise some patience, some understanding. 
you have to work on teaching them some English skills. And she's trying to teach me some Tagalog skills. And so it's got to be a 50-50 meet in the middle. Right, baby? Right, give, come here, give me a kiss. Come here. Give me a big kiss. Give me a big kiss. Come here. Give me a big kiss. Sometimes she calls me Lolo, which means grandpa, but she knows I'm the sexiest motherfucker in the, in the world, especially in the Philippines, and she's lucky to be here. I'm hungry! Oh, baby, how's that jelly bean? Let's get on with the jelly bean. Picked up six fucking jelly beans for all the ladies that are coming over. Yeah. But I think there's only two ladies coming over, so she's gonna eat. How many of them jelly beans you gonna eat, baby? You gonna eat three of them? Four. Four? Just what we call B-roll. 